So tell me your favorite memory from the strip. Um, finding a bathroom at the Chateau Marmont <laughs> so I could be a 10th grade prostitute with older women. Wow. I think that pretty much topped all your stories. Yeah. <laughs>What's up guys, Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network with Donovan Leach, Tommy Alastra, Hans Fielestad, and Joe Mundo. Nice. Creators, writers, stars of Sunset Strip. You have so many huge stars. How did you guys gather like such massive people? I mean, it's like Hef, between Hef and like Sharon Stone and Mickey and Keanu Reeves. I gotta name them all. Johnny Depp. Lots of hours, uh, many calls, persistence. You know. I think it was the subject matter, everybody has experienced the strip at some point or another and I think they all resonate with Yeah, and I think the, they like the way that we made the connection with the story we wanted to talk to them about and you know, it wasn't kind of the normal kind of conventional thing that they normally talk about in terms I of the strip. So we were turned down many times by many people. And Who turned you down? No, but then we just kept <laughs> coming back until they said, all right, enough already, we'll do the Donovan interview. Leach Sr. <laughs> turned us down. <laughs> yes, my dad. <laughs> that strip is like where you leave and where you come back. This is where it all started, you know. The feeling is still there. It's a very, yeah, you can almost taste it. It was about titillation and sex. Hollywood itself is a magnet. It has great feminine appeal, sexual appeal. And the strip is kind of the personification of that. And I never knew, like I learned this from your documentary, just from the trailer, that the strip was originally a dirt road to join the hills and Beverly Hills. I never knew that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it goes back like a hundred years. But yeah. it's true, like even before the 60s, which people are a little bit more familiar with, the doors and such, you know. But no, going all the way back to like the 1900s, 1920s, 1930s, it's been kind of wild and kind of wide open, you know, for its whole history. If you could live in any of the decades from the Strip, what would it be? I would go uh, the 60s for sure. Oh, I'd go back to the Garden of Allah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, Garden yeah. of Allah. Garden I'd go back to the What is the Garden of Allah? I'd never heard of that either. Well, the Garden of Allah used to be uh, where it's where McDonald's is today. It's on yeah, it's in the <laughs> present yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, well, Joan, Joni Mitchell's Pave Paradise put up a parking lot. That's right. Yeah. So it was great. It, it was a, it was a, a series of bungalows, Spanish bungalows, right on Sunset and Crescent Heights, where all the biggest movie stars and directors and producers all lived and partied together. Yeah, especially like in the heyday, in like in the 30s and 40s. But what was like cool, like the, the the literati from New York, you know, it's like Harpo Marx, Rachmaninoff. I mean, the mix of people that were doing stuff there was just insane. What is the craziest story that you guys like when you were researching and putting the film together that you heard that happened on the strip? I mean, there were murders, there were mobsters, there was all kinds of like crazy. Mickey Cohen's quote is uh, that he uh, he killed no man that wasn't uh, that didn't deserve killing. Right. So in the Battle of Sunset Strip. Yeah. So basically, he's admitting to murder in an interview. Yeah. Mr. Kim Fowley. We have a special ladies guest. Ladies and gentlemen. So tell me your favorite memory from the strip. Um, finding a bathroom at the Chateau Marmont <laughs> so I could be a tenth grade prostitute with older women. Wow. I think that pretty much topped all your stories. Yeah. <laughs> He's keeping it real here. How did you meet these gentlemen? They hired me to be the star of this movie. <laughs> did you? I, I'm taking you. You, ha, you didn't have to audition. I am the audition. <laughs> what was crazier, the stars that you brought in to perform and to talk, or the past footage? Well, there is some magic, and uh, Peter Fonda gave an interview about his being arrested on the Sunset Strip during the teen riots, and we found this footage of him actually being taken away on the bus and. Denver there uh, trying to help him and assist him getting yeah, off the never bus. Before so, staff, yeah, never before yeah, seen staff. Never before seen staff. It just like matches the story perfectly. Where would we most likely find you guys on the strip today? What place do you most hang out at? Starting with you. The Rainbow uh, parking lot looking for a new topless dancer who thinks she and her father are going to pay me lots of money to make her record but you know what to like. For some reason I thought you were going to say McDonald's and yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm eating a pastrami sandwich at Green Blots. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> Good chicken soup there too. Where would I like to be on the show? Or where would you find me on the show? Where, where, would, you, where, would, where would I gonna find you? Be you? My office, pretty much. And where would you like to be? <laughs> right next to at the Rainbow, eating their fried mozzarella. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going there. That's a good tip. Well, I would definitely like go to Shamrock and hang out, and okay. then go across the street to Rainbow yeah, for a drink. There you, you know? go. See Mark. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I like the Den. I live right right down the street from the Den. It's a great great little spot. Gentlemen, the difference between and ladies, the difference between. Old and new Hollywood. Yes. Everything is the same except for three things. The diseases, the drugs, and the haircuts. 
Everything, everything, the, everything is the same but that? Yeah, because the haircuts changed and the diseases changed and the drugs changed, but everything else is exactly the same. The diseases yeah, have the, mutated. The, the sex is <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be an interesting film, right? I'm dying to see this <laughs> film.